Okay, I'll be demonstrating the Banach-Tarski Paradox, which is a theory that can only be applied to theoretical life, but it's still pretty neat once you get it. So, the theory says that a solid ball in three-dimensional space can be decomposed into a finite number of disjoint subjects, which can then be put back together in a different way to yield two identical copies of the original. So what I'm doing is I have two identical Play-Doh balls, and I'll use one of them as an example, and I'll mess with the other one. So what I'll do is I'll rip one of the Play-Doh balls in half to show a really simple application, and that is the two halves can equal the original Play-Doh ball. As you see, when I put the Play-Doh balls inside the bowl and took them out, they appear to have been larger. And this is kind of what the Banach-Tarski paradox is. Besides the cheap video editing, I'll show you the concept using a stop motion I pieced together in 20 minutes. Try to imagine this small ball of Play-Doh being an infinite mass. And after separating the ball a bunch of times, it's really cool to see how big the ball can form in respect to the larger ball. Here's a better and easier way to see the splitting ball application, and I pretty much dissolved a circle into many dots. And based on the Banach-Tarski paradox, each of these small balls can grow to be the same size as the original. The paradox is essentially proved because you can break up measurable sets into non-measurable sets. And it's based upon one thinking that a mass cannot be measurable or it is infinite. I like to think of infinity divided by 2 still equaling infinity to wrap my head around this concept. And as you see, an object of infinite mass can be divided into parts that are also infinite, like the super small balls of Play-Doh. This sort of helps when thinking about measurable and non-measurable sets. And for the majority of this project, I made a game based on the Banach-Tarski paradox. It's pretty bad, but I think it gets its point across. There's Floppy Bird-style gameplay, and you just have to dodge the circles. But instead of splitting, the circles apply the theorem to kind of duplicate. So if you're ever bored and you're in the mood to uh, learn about theoretical math, you can always check out this game. You can get to the game by typing this link in your phone or on a computer where the game works best. This is a good way to learn the subject, especially if you didn't get any of what I've just done. After editing this, I found out I forgot to add one of the pieces of information, and so I'm just going to add it right here because why not. The paradox itself was developed from a paper published in 1924 by Stefan Banach and Alfred Tarski. There are many layers and proofs to this theorem, but the gist is just about the decomposition of an infinite scattering of points. And if you want to find out more information, the Wikipedia page is pretty long. And in case you wanted to see some of the math behind this, it's pretty simple, it's just this. Yeah, that's my project. And again, the link to the game is www.actimator.com slash app slash